thoughts you never see. You are always thinking. Brain is wide, your brain is deep. Oh, are you sinking? Feel the path of every day. Which road you're taking? Breathing hard, making hay. Yeah, this is living. Look for love. Never there he comes, there he comes, there he comes. That's your word. You see him? There he comes, there he comes, there he comes. Oh, I see him. Mom, he's going around the street. Accelerating into the box from the south side. The FA-18 Hornet. This time, this time space. This time, this time So what you give it. Now this demonstrated the incredible pitch authority and vertical maneuverability of the FAA. All Navy fighter pilots have to go two early years of flight training before earning their wings of gold. Lieutenant uh, Keith earned his wings of gold from uh, Naval Air Station in Catesville in Catesville, Texas. And since then, he's accumulated over 1,300 hours in FAA. That is a loud airplane, man. His loud airplane. He's going to be uh, demonstrating this aircraft from 110 up to about 700 miles per hour, coming as close to the speed of sound as possible without blowing out all the windows. Let's go ahead and take a look at a maximum performance, minimum radius. Turn around the show center. Mom and Dad here in a platform. We're letting him go by, and then we're going to say hello to the platform and see if he can speak to his mom and dad. Oh, 
off over the uh, boats over by Navy Pier. Aim between the clouds here. Let's see if we can get a little rolling course reversal out of him. Come back down. He's this side of the clouds, so he's uh, looking at the water, looking at the boats, picking out the center point tug, coming in over uh, Navy Pier, and he's going to be racing back in here. At a, I think we're going to get another pretty high-speed pass as he comes in. Now, we don't have a real humid day. We're going to see that vapor collar around the plane we've seen before. Yes, as a matter of fact, you're going to see the, the vapor trails off the wingtips, and you're going to see the low-pressure areas just after the leading edge of the wing. He comes back here dirty, and I believe he is going to be in a dirty configuration here. You're going to see the gear and the flaps down and flying slow, and you'll see the tail hook down. Now, we talked about the tail hook earlier. He's not got his gear down now. Yeah, he is. All right, you see the tail hook in the back. And this, of course, is the hook that allows them to land on the very short carrier surface deck. Remember, when they go down and land, they don't try to take it down and roll it on like I would do with my 747. Land on a postage step on a pigeon rolling deck, deck out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, he's going to go and uh, extend here by putting up, cleaning up the aircraft, raising the gear, raising the flaps, raising the tail hook, and going into the verdict. And uh, going right in front of Fullerton Avenue Beach. And WBBN to Josh Liss. Loud enough for you, Josh. You do feel it in your body. That, yes, that's yes, you do. You, you, you feel it. You're pressing in there. Yeah, you feel it. The line gets here. slow speed pass. You know what's funny? We get these fighter airplanes that can go, this airplane almost can do two times the speed of sound. It is a feared fighter worldwide. But one of the most complicated things they do is what he's going to do now, and that's that high alpha slow speed pass. Let's see if we can get this set up for a high alpha pass here. He's going to go ahead and bleed off a little bit more speed. He's nice and flat out there off the end of Navy Pier off the uh, uh, intake plant. He's going to be making wide out uh, right traffic. He's going to be coming back. Uh, just tell him about this high speed pass that it's complicated, harder to fly a fast airplane slow than it is to fly a slow airplane fast. Seeks some nice blue sky. 
And the skies and are do... mostly blue down here. A lot of the clouds have broken apart. And we'll do his version of a one-half cube and eight, five-eighths of a loop with a half row on the down line. Now he's upside down. Now he's flying like you do in Australia, where all of a sudden the water's above your head and the sky is at your feet. All right, he's inverted right now. We'll watch for him to make a little half roll here. Finding that show line and accelerating right. down to the south. He's just going to haul back trip. on that stick. Bump it up a little bit. Hold at an altitude that normally you would fly right through. Kick in the burners. See if we can uh, go ahead and get in a simulated carrier approach before too long. So we still have several maneuvers left yet to come. To take one of those into work in the morning down the ice, on top of the ice. It express. might I get to work in about 15 seconds. <laughs> it might I love just, that. You might just hold your own with the people that are already driving on there at 30. He's actually going to circle around and go for one turn. So there we go. Hitting a uh, lot more blue sky here. This beautiful blue Chicago, Illinois sky. 58 Daniel, Chicago Air and Water Show. Spectacular day. Great depth. It's a great crowd down here. We see the crowd building up on the beach. See the boat line building up. And they're really enjoying watching this FA-18 Hornet fly for us today. The High Speed Pass.
Hunt.